Gibraltar has long been an important British military asset. During the Second World War, the Allies used Gibraltar, having created an airfield where we are today, to push into North Africa and in that way turn the tide against the Nazi forces. Today, Britain continues to have a small military presence in Gibraltar, with its naval base and iconic airfield. Both are ready to be used at zero notice. It places British forces 1,000 miles up the Etta near an area of likely conflict. And apart from that investment in the defence of Gibraltar and Britain's forward-mounting base on the shores of the Mediterranean, Gibraltar is entirely self-sufficient. In these buildings behind me, modern Gibraltar enjoys an avant-garde online gaming industry and insurance industry that is the envy of the rest of the European Union, the single market of which is essential to our success. While Spain struggles with record levels of unemployment, Gibraltar supports a quarter of the permanent jobs recorded in this region of Andalusia. The benefits of a British Gibraltar in Europe are recognised across the world, and so our lawyers and economists are already exploring strategies for Gibraltar to maintain these benefits even in the unlikely event of a British exit from the European Union. Every morning, 10,000 people come across this frontier from Spain, from the neighbouring region, to work in Gibraltar. It's almost like people coming into Liverpool Street Station to come into the City of London to work there. The people of Gibraltar and the Spanish people of the neighbouring region have always got on perfectly well. We do business together, we fall in love, we marry, our families are interlinked. The confrontation between Gibraltar and Spain comes only as a result of the medieval sovereignty claim of the politicians in Madrid. Left alone and to our own devices, we would invest all the time that we spend disputing the sovereignty of Gibraltar, working together to strengthen the economy of the region and the prosperity for all.